Next into the tank are Franco, Jeremy and Daniel with an idea that brings people and places together. I think we're a product for the everyday Australian in every nook and cranny across Australia as well. Um, it really suits the everyday person. G'day Sharks, my name's Franco and this is Jeremy and Dan and we are the three co-founders of Space2Co.com. Today we are seeking 210,000 for 14% of our company. We help people find the space they need for any activity. We help space owners share their space quickly and easily. We do this with our online platform, a sharing economy website for the short-term hire of space. Take, for example, the unused space above a bookstore that's been booked 18 times in the last six months, earning that host over $2,500 in revenue. There's also the little cafe that recently listed its courtyard garden space for celebrations and meetups, making it a space to community. <laughs> we launched our pilot in mid-2017 with over 400 spaces now in West Australia and South Australia enjoying features such as uh, automated payment flows, fully fil filterable search and live availability. We're learning how to match local people with local spaces. And that brings us here to you guys, the Sharks. We need somebody to join our family to help us to manage the exponential growth. Great, excellent. So that's 210,000 for 14% of your business, valuing it at a cool one and a half mil. That's right. So obviously you're here for an investment because you're going to need a lot more than what you asked for today yeah, to get it, get it going. So we have already raised 100000 and we've got another 57000 coming in through uh, an accelerator program that we've joined. Can we just understand how much, how much of the business you guys own, please? Uh, at this stage, 29% each. 29%, that's pretty good, okay. So how do you get your customers? So we have a thing called the Host Partner Pack. So they're things like the Bookhouse Space Card, which can sit on the counter of the bookstore example and the cafe example I gave you earlier. This, this is the sticky stick in a window, right? Correct. In our first couple of months, 95% of our bookings came from a host that had used one or more elements of the Host Partner Pack. What kind of transaction level have you done and what sort of revenue are you getting so far? So we've had 185 transactions so far and right. that graph is going up happily. Yeah. yeah. So we've turned over 27,000 in overall transaction prices and we've made around $3,800 to date. So how do you get to the $1.5 million valuation given that your revenue is 3,800 at the moment? We've taken a lot of advice in terms of where we feel the business can go. Uh, there's a lot of blue sky as well. Uh, there's the great untapped residential marketplace. Yeah, I, I don't need convincing about the model. In yep. LA, a lot of film locations are found through mm. a website like this. How do you break through and get market share and revenue that justifies your valuation? One of our major pivots recently has been city councils. City councils come with a lot of spaces. Um, we've got one, City of Vincent, they've listed uh, at least 60 spaces at this stage yeah. and about another 10 to go. Um, the City of Canning with over 100 spaces is going to be listed over the next couple of months. Each of those has about $400,000 in turnover of um, space bookings per year on an average of about 20% occupancy rate, so it's a really low occupancy rate across the facilities. And they are literally picking up that turnover and putting it into our business and we take our cut. And so, so we take 15% on each points. and every transaction. So they're happy to hand over their income and give you a 15% clip straight up. It's important to understand that the processes for councils at the moment aren't really very smooth. Your 15% commission will actually save them on real wages That's right, and real yeah. administration costs. I'm still intrigued about the how you're going to find your customer. How do, how do I find you? Some of our uh, space owners, they've got you know 20,000 Instagram followers, for example. Okay. And when they say book our space on Space Deco, which they do do, that message is getting amplified out um, organically. It's not something we're wearing the cost of either. You know these hosts do bring a captive audience. Jeremy, so, you've got 185 bookings so far. Your correct. argument's not really we, stacking up when you say 20,000 followers and you've only got 185. So what else have you got up your sleeve? 
Well, uh, the, the host partner pack example is, is is strong. It is working for us. And Jeremy, you've got to talk to us about value and about acquisition costs. Mm -hmm. So, do you know your unit economics at this point in time? Well, we're not really measuring it at, at this stage. Um, Come we, on, guys. How do you know, how do you know where you're spending the money? Done, how do you know where you're spending your money then? If you're not recording what it costs to do business, how, how do you know if you've actually got a viable business? What are the three critical numbers that you guys look at every single day to know that you're on a trajectory? Well, that 185 transactions, we're watching that transaction figure uh, okay. very, very closely. Did you have to send 10,000 people to get one conversion? What is your conversion rate? Unsure at this stage. Yeah, we, sure. we, we're unsure. Yeah. Okay, how big's your traffic? Uh, consumer side is probably around the 500 to 1,000 people on the site. Okay, and how many transactions are you doing a week? Uh, we did 20 last week. Okay, so you are way under industry average. I've got one critical question. Mm -hmm. Sure. Who here is accountable for the tech and the quality of the user experience? Right. Are you a techie? I don't, I don't code the website myself, but I manage the entire project. Wait, wait, okay, so what's, so could you, could you write it if you had to? No. Gentlemen, how do you think your pitch is going right now? Where we are, I guess you could say, early. Can you rescue this pitch? For us at the moment, it's about the city council play. We're this Friday flying to, to South Australia to speak with 15 councils at once. That all started with a conversation with one council and they were on the pathway to actually building their own product. And we rocked up and said, well, it's already built and we just take a small commission on the way and they've essentially stopped that project that they've just invested 12 months of time in. And that's a pivotal movement where you're taking this company at the moment. Absolutely. I really love what you're doing. It's definitely a land grab. Literally, it's a land grab. You've got to get <laughs> stock as fast as you possibly can um, because without critical mass, you're irrelevant to the consumer side. The valuation is a little bit blue sky, I think, to quote somebody here in the tank. For that reason, I'm out. No worries, thank you. great to see you getting um, some good traction though and it seems like that the doors that you're knocking on they're opening which is great. For me however today there was too many holes in this presentation. For this investment I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. Three sharks left, two sharks are out. I can tell you where I'm at. It's a proven marketplace. There's a huge company in the US, there's a two significant competitors in the UK, but at 1.5 million valuation, I wish you well, but I'm out. Thank you. Glenn, what's your thinking? Well, look, there are a lot of two-sided marketplaces out there for different things, like convention space, like hotel business room space. I think your council pivot is probably the right one. Let's go out and do a land grab on stock of all sorts but uh, for me, the valuation looks high. So for that reason, I'm out. Right, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the advice as well. Lots of things we don't know. We don't know values, we don't know costs. So it makes it really hard to understand. The council, it's a fantastic uh, avenue to go down. I really, really like that. So um, you need tech, you need it pretty bad. Jeff put up to 10% aside for a tech co-founder. Because yep. you should have that, and you ballsed up for not having it, okay? It's really bad. Mate, are you gonna put up or shut up? <laughs> if you were further along, I'd, I'd probably I'd probably take the 1.5. I think it's probably reasonably, but you, that's you in six, maybe 12 months. To me at the moment, it's it's 21% after the dilution. Right. So Steve, can you just summarize your offer? Yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll do that in one second. So put the offer up. The offer is 210,000 bucks for 21% post your uh, recapitalising for the uh, tech co-founder. 
So 210,000 for 21 percent, but you've also, as a condition, got to put 10 percent of your equity aside yep. to someone who'll come in and own the technical side of your business. That is Steve's offer. Yep. Why would you force tech onto these guys when they're good at contracting it? There's good services out there that know how to build two-sided marketplace and maintain them, and you've got a guy who can supervise it. And now you're forcing them down to, a, to about a 20% share each, which almost now becomes annoying about where and you Glenn's, want to be involved. Glenn's really good at selling kitty litter, so let's just leave him over there. Gee, maybe Steve's done a couple of these and he might know what he's talking about. Just saying. What are you going to do, gentlemen? Can, can we have a quick power? Absolutely. Yep. Just remember, he's diluting you to your less than him. Go and have a power, guys. All right, it's thank you. Your money. This is serious. So, Steve, do you know you know they have competition here right now? There's lots of competition in this space. Competition's never a reason not to do a business. I think Steve would be an extraordinary yeah. asset for the business. I don't know. Just what the other two are saying. What Glenn was saying. We know we need. We know we need tech. So, you had your powwow. Was it an easy discussion? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, so you had a bit of disagreement between the three yep. of you. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So you were offered two hundred and ten thousand for twenty-one percent of your business by Steve, mm -hmm. with a condition that you also allocate equity for a new tech partner. Mm -hmm. So what's your decision? We valued at a uh, million dollars yep. um, previously back in December. We've now made some major steps forward. Uh, and we just really want to recognize the fact that we've signed two city councils. We've got another with a pen over the paper. We'd like to counter offer with 20%. 20%. Um, uh, yes. Okay, well done. Oh, fantastic. Oh, Thank you Good so job. much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Sorry Thank to give you guys a hard much. time. Thank Thank you. Nice Thank you. Your next Thank pitch you. will be a lot better, that's for sure. <laughs> yes. Good luck working with Steve, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. And now the job begins. Yeah. Shark Tank season five, we can rent a space on Space to Co. It's all good. <laughs> Get a studio on there. We got some capital and we got a shark. Yeah. I'd say it's a good day fishing. Yeah. <laughs>